Dawn McKenna is a businesswoman who left the corporate world to take on new challenges and make a difference for kids rather than CEOs and managers. Mick Dalloway is a terribly talented singer, songwriter, producer, multi-instrumentalist who uses his skills, stop laughing, his skills on guitar, piano, and drums to entertain and to make a difference too. Dawn and Mick are the perfect combo who come together to help children who have physical and mental challenges. Music in motion is one of their passions. It is my pleasure to welcome Mick Delavy and Don McKenna to Studio 4 to tell us more. You see, I know him, and when I said he's terribly talented, that's when he started to chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are. Well, it's a bit embarrassing, but thank you. It's okay, because you see, when you're friends, you can say things like that, yes. right? That's true. Mm -hmm. So how did the two of you get together? How did this begin? music in motion. And a member of our board is a longtime friend of Mick's mm. and suggested that we needed a music pro program at the center. So Mick came on board. Yeah. Yeah, Dan Weeks is a friend of mine from high school. And uh, he's gone, he went on, to, at that time, he was the chair of psychology at uh, SFU mm -hmm. and sat on the board. And mm -hmm. he wrote me, I was working over in Europe at the time, and wrote me and said, I think there should be a program to do music for children, for Down syndrome. He said, put something together. And I went, I'd never done anything like that before, so I drafted up a proposal, emailed it to him, and he said, perfect, I'll bring it to the board. It was, it it's was almost that fast. Yeah. Sounds really simple, yeah, doesn't exactly. it? it? Well, yes and no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it wouldn't so be how, the same. How does it work? Tell me what happens. You want, you want to go? No, you go. Um, it's your well, program. The, we get a, a bunch of kids that sign up uh, that are involved you know, with the Down Syndrome Research Foundation, and uh, the, the class will open up where basically it's like a um, show and tell almost, where we'll talk about music and the songs they like on the radio, and they might bring in CDs that they like. A lot of times they'll, you know, they'll bring in a Rihanna CD or Justin Bieber or whatever. Mm. Or sometimes it's the sound of music, you know, whatever they're in, involved with, and they like to sing along with. And we talk about that, and then we have a little uh, sing-along. We start with a sing-along, and uh, we engage the kids, and they all get guitars and drums, whatever they'd like, and some keyboards. And then from there, we divide up the classes. So if we have, like, let's say, 15 kids, five of them will go with me, five will go with Jamie Meyer, who's the keyboard player that does it with us. Right. And is he in five, one of your bands? No, no. no. Mark LaFrance is in, is in a, several of my bands, actually. He's mm -hmm. the drummer. Jamie Meyer. Cease and Desist. Yeah, Cease and Desist, and Backman and Turner, and mm -hmm. uh, Atlantic Crossing. But, um, and Jamie Meyer plays with a uh, Bon Jovi group called Blaze of Glory. Okay. Yeah, and so, so um, these aren't shabby musicians. No, no, everybody's a professional musician, and, and, and I, I sort of pick when put, the course was put together. I picked both those guys because they're such animated people, and they're really, really good with kids, mm -hmm. and that makes a yeah, huge difference. You know, they can really engage them. So, mm -hmm. and all, do all the children have Down syndrome, or are there some who are autistic, or there are a couple who have Down syndrome and autism. There are a couple who have autism, but mainly it's kids with Down syndrome. Okay, and is that unusual to have autism and Down syndrome It's not together? uncommon, no. It's not uncommon. No. Uh, Down syndrome, what is it? Down syndrome is a congenital abnormality, so it's a triplication mm. of the 21st chromosome, and, and there's nothing that a family can do to prevent it. Uh, it happens uh, across ethnicities, uh, mm -hmm. and it happens about one in every 800 children in North America. One in 800. Mm -hmm. And mentally, where are they? It's a, wide, it's a wide range. The level of ability or challenges uh, ranges from, from those who will never be able to uh, be independent, uh, who may mm -hmm. not be able to communicate vocally, right. to those that are very independent, have relationships, live on their own, uh, go to school, have jobs. And music makes a difference. Uh, no question, I saw some of the video mm -hmm. of, of the children all together in a group. Mm -hmm. What's it like working with them? Well, what... And the, with for other the most children part, we're not who are really not challenged. Yeah, for the most the part, difference. we're not really thinking of them uh, becoming musicians so much. Is that they? Um, you may see footage here of Esley playing drums, and you may you might see Alex. Alex and Esley, Esley are really good examples. Alex, when he first came to us, is autistic. Um, I'm not sure if he has any more challenges, but I, I know. Yes, he's, he has Down syndrome and, and autism. Down syndrome as well. So his Down syndrome. <laughs> Oh, there he is. He's oh, like Ringo Starr, yeah. this boy. <laughs> Esley is such a character. He comes into class, we call him the blues guy, because he'll come in with his guitar strapped over his back, dressed and dressed for the nines. He comes in to play in a band, and he loves it. And he's a and he's, ham. He, and he, he really enjoys music, as you can see. Look at him go on the drums. <laughs> I know. And look so. at me with the Elvis suit in front of him. You, that's you in the Elvis suit? <laughs> yeah, well, this is uh, what we call rock star day. And everybody comes dressed as a rock star. I'm not quite sure what Esley is. Maybe it's for cheap trick. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the end when he does like. Okay, oh, I'm yes. done. Oh, now, when, when he started, 
Are you there for these sessions too? Or are I, you I usually doing come in. raising funds for Down Syndrome Foundation? Oh, well, I do that too, but I usually mm -hmm. like to try to come in for the jam session at the end because we get a Congo line going and uh, Mick and the guys are just amazing. They bring out the inner, um, the inner person within mm -hmm. each of these children, those that would not normally stand right. up in front of a group or sing, uh, maybe not even communicate vocally, are strumming away on the guitar, they're hitting the keys on the keyboard, they're drumming like Esley is, mm -hmm. and the smiles on their faces are just incredible. They really feel like they're coming to be in a band. And it, they right. all feel like they belong. And it's it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. It really Music is. Music is a bridge, isn't it? it is. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Bridges mm -hmm. cultures, uh, connects people like nothing else, Absolutely. really. I, don't, I can't think of anything else when you uh, live in Africa and I live here or somebody lives in New York and you hear the same music, it, it connects you. Yeah, absolutely. No question. Mm -hmm. So uh, what's it like for you working with uh, these kids? Oh, it's <laughs> quite rewarding. It, uh, it almost, um, it, I alluded to a, a kid named Alex, which is at the beginning of this video. I don't know if, if you have him or not, but Alex, when he, I was talking about him earlier, he, when he came to us, Alex would come in and basically, his dad would bring him in and sit with him for the class, and Alex would sit on the floor and wouldn't talk to anybody, or he, de well, he's, he doesn't have speech for the most part, mm -hmm. but he uh, would almost just totally segregate him from everybody. It was really hard to engage him. Then eventually his dad was able to leave him alone and he could come to class on his own and sort of thing. And I remember his dad coming in one day and there's Alex at the front of the class with a guitar in his hand strumming away while we're doing Crocodile Rock. It turns out, because his dad couldn't figure out every time Elton John would come on the radio, he'd go crazy. He loved Crocodile Rock and we would do it in class. And so he, he's up at the front of the class with his guitar grinning from ear to ear and his dad comes in, Peter, and starts like tearing up. He'd never seen Alex do that. He was 17. He'd never seen him act like that before. Mm. And here, and now apparently Alex brings his guitar to school with him all the time. He feels like he belongs. Now do you get instruments from someone? Do the kids have their own instruments? Uh, are, there, are you saying piano, drums, guitars? Mm. We were donated a piano. Uh, we have on loan a keyboard. We have on loan a set of drums, mm -hmm. which you saw Esley playing. We have some um, guitars in mm -hmm. the, and banjos in the center. But some of the kids have their own guitars, and they bring those along right. as well. Which makes sense. Yes. And uh, have they, any of them formed a group? Uh, Do you uh, know what I mean? Actually, like, yes. Why actually, not? Yes. Because when they musicians have. get together, you know how they are. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, they, they have. They have. Yeah. Uh, the BFF band, Best Friends Forever, BFF. Mm. Uh, one of our students, Sadie, and Matthew on the drums, and another student, Callan. Uh, they get up and sing, and they've got some music in the background, and S uh, Matthew was on the drums, and they performed at our Christmas concert. How Two fabulous. Mm -hmm. It would be a great fundraiser, and I, I'm sure you've thought of it. Yes. I know you have fundraisers for, especially in tough times, it's not so easy raising money for foundations or charities no. or, you know, challenged kids. But that would be a great concert. It would be. Or and am I thinking too big? Oh, no, no. Am I well, dreaming Mick, a little bit? Mick and I have talked so. about a, a benefit well, yeah, concert. We, 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 there's a few times we actually were going to put together a couple things that just never quite come together. We were trying mm -hmm. to, we were sort of thinking grandiose actually, mm -hmm. and having some very big acts. And uh, one of the segments was going to be either me with the kids or me, Mark, and, and Jamie with the kids on stage doing some songs together and, you know, as part yeah. of the concert, which yeah. would be fun. Mm -hmm. Which would be fabulous. Well, I was at Special Olympics and, uh, what I loved about some of the children when the music started, I think Jim Burns was playing. Oh, yeah. And if we don't like the music, we're very polite about it, normally. I mean, we go get a coffee or a <laughs> beer or something, but these, these kids would just, when he, he cranked up, and nothing about Burns, because he's a great musician, yeah. they're going like, too loud. <laughs> You know, way too loud. <laughs> well, so that's the, where it started in class. If you get one kid right. playing the drums and the other kid mm -hmm. would be holding his ears, but then you get that kid on the drums, and they're even louder. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> if they're they making the noise, it's okay. Are they competitive with each oh, other? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, very much they are, so. Eh? Yes. Mm -hmm. But also very supportive. Very mm. supportive. So from the heart. Absolutely. Like yeah. somebody will do something, and you hear the other kids go, that was great. That was so good. You know, they, you know, really, really supportive. Right. But they'll call it like they see it, too. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sometimes it's quite of funny. Course. That's the most fun. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Mm. So how does this work? Uh, can you sign up? Uh, do you pay money to do this? Oh, uh, don't funny. talk about that. Well, there, is that you? That's me. Look at that. Really, it is. Oh, 
Well, that's quite the outfit. This morning. I was actually thinking of wearing them on the show. Well, that is quite the outfit. <laughs> and what did Elvis say? Oh, there's I... Alex right in the middle. It just panned on him. Yeah. Wow. But, um, yeah, and this is just so, sort of a, in the round. Uh, this Once again, this is all it's filmed on the same day, but it's sort of a, a, an idea of what happens almost every class. Well, they've got the look. And Elvis Presley said, I think it was Elvis, it was Elvis, that music should be something that makes you got to move. <laughs> makes you got to move inside or outside. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. For sure, for sure. Well, so, Mick, Mick and, the, and the band, they get these kids moving. I bet they do. Uh, what's the band up to? There's so many bands. <laughs> what, what, which band? You've got Cease and Desist, Atlantic Crossing, uh, uh, right, Backman Turner. Yeah, right now, right now it's Backman Turner. We just did Minneapolis, and next mm -hmm. this weekend coming we're in Arizona, and then the weekend after we're somewhere. I can't remember. Yeah, life on the road. Yeah. I know. I know. It's hard pinning them down to do the Music in Motion program. I bet. We used to do two weeks, and now we sort of delegated it to one week at a mm -hmm. time whenever there's a time. Uh, Jamie's become busy with his band. Mark and I are, you know. We're touring generally when that's the thing is when people are on holidays, that's when bands tour because it's convenient for people that are on holidays to go to concerts. Mm -hmm. So it, it Well, last a bit time difficult. he was here, he was a Beatle. <laughs> that's right. Right? Revolver. You were John Lennon, Revolver. Do you do that with the kids ever? Uh, I have dressed in my uh, Sergeant Pepper outfit, the, 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 the green one. <laughs> that's <time>. attractive. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the, kids, the kids had no idea what the heck I was, though. Mm. They thought it was Probably. leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> the leprechaun is here to put it all together. Mm -hmm. And you, you leave the corporate world yes. to do a totally different thing. Yes. Or, well, you still are fundraising and running capital campaigns, so there's some business and finance in there. But what made you do that? Why? I, I wanted more than mm. the bottom line mm -hmm. and uh, had no idea where I was going. And our founder, Josephine Mills, who's since passed away, wanted somebody to help her grow the organization, which was quite young at the time. And uh, from my first day in the little 650 square foot trailer where we were located at the time, I knew it was the right decision. Mm -hmm. And now we have this beautiful center in North Burnaby and uh, we're internationally recognized as a center of excellence for Down syndrome. And you we're just doing had well. a walk, a run, a walk, something. Yes, in celebration of World Down Syndrome Day, which was March 21st. Mm -hmm. And he's doing the cancer. I guess we might as well raise some money for your cancer. <laughs> thing. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm uh, yeah, I'm doing a cancer ride. But uh, the, the the problem the problem is is that the cancer ride is on the 16th, and I, I took it on last October, thinking that I might get a date, but I wasn't sure. But I took it on anyway. So I raised 6,100 dollars. Um, but now it turns out I'm going to be in Germany. So I've talked to oh, the, when to you the said Embridge a date, Society. You meant a gig. I'm sorry. Well, he said I might get a date. I, I might get a gig. Yeah, sorry, not a, not a date. <laughs> a gig. A gig. Well, how musicians talk, you know, yeah. might get mm -hmm. a date, might be booked. But anyway, so now I'm now I'm going to do the ride probably a couple weeks before. I'll just do it by oh. myself. I'm going to take really? pictures and ride to Seattle by myself. So people donated to you riding for. Uh, I the just want to show them that I've ride. done it because they've donated. You will money actually do, do it exactly. Yeah, I can't let them down. So good on you. So uh, music in motion. If we want more information, where to go? Our website. Um, okay. Information will be up soon, as soon as I can pin these guys down to a date yeah. <laughs> for the program yeah. in the summer. <laughs> sure. We don't know our, our summer schedule yet. That's the problem. We right. sort of, as it, as it comes out, we go, okay, here's our opening, and that's what we'll do it. Okay, well, thanks for doing this. Oh, thank you. Thanks for giving back. Yeah, thanks for Thank well, you. Thanks, thanks for to having see us. you. I see you more than I see her, but <laughs> there you go.